Fisher wins it down, and McDonald with an offensive hand pass to Armitage, gets the kick slightly smothered. I thought it was slightly smothered, the umpire said no, and there's a mark on this occasion to be taken by the young fella. Did. Two kicks down the line for Rosebud, in front of the coach's box, which sort of shrouds where we're broadcasting a little bit, but other than that, we've got a beautiful look at the ground today. It goes out of bounds between wing and half forward for Rosebud as they head to the Rosebud end of the ground. Boundary throw, and that's maybe the one area of a weakness for Bomb Beach, not having the number one ruckman, Tom Hogan. So Fisher doing a lot of the ruck work, played really well last week. High kick comes out from Rosebud, but they put it out of bounds on the full in the back pocket, and it'll be kicked back into play for Bomb Beach by Nick Waterston. Just watch a couple match up there, Mitch Gents on uh, there at Armitage. Oh, sorry, no, no, he's on. Um Sean Downey, let's check Sean Downey. The ball's coming back because the umpire's doing that the Rosebud player kicked it when he was out of bounds. Boundary throw it, right on attacking 50, throw him back into play. McDonald gets it, his handball was smothered, he wins it again, of course he does. He's at half back, wobbly kick, but standing in the road is young Tim, coming up from the under 19s, who reads it nicely, a kick behind the play right in front of our commentary position. They go back into attack now, Rosebud. No score as yet. High kick inside, 50. Big strong mark. No, I thought Gilbert had the mark. Then he lays a tackle. Vets Hans gets a hand pass out to Reed. Now Scowen. Now Scowen, a high wobbly ball. Mark last line of defence by Bomb Beach. They'll head to the outer side of the ground. And uh, Coates, but his kick is no good. Turned over again by Batsanas. Batsanas off a step in the forward pocket on the outer side. The first score is on the board on the corner bottle shop of Rosebud, Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop scoreboard. And of course our coverage today brought to you by the Rosebud Country Club. Andy Cummins on the bench there for Rosebud, but come on. Well he and Steve will swap all day. Yeah. And they're outstanding this year, part of the 2018 Stingrays Premiership side, back into play. In short. And Jackson Cason takes the market half back for Bomb Beach. Delivers down the line again. McLean takes the mark. He's been such a good player for this Bomb Beach side since coming across from the amateurs a couple of years ago. There's nothing on offer off the ground. He goes back again. And now they deliver across the goal face and taken on this occasion by Justin Bennett. Bennett now kicks him short once more. And uh, the mark is completed by Bo Bailey. Bailey gets it on the half volley to the redhead of his first game and does well. Oswald gets the hand pass back to Bailey. Kicks down the line close to the boundary. And it goes, uh, Osmond, I should say, goes out of bounds in front of our commentary position. Uh, he's the first game of the day, Justin Osmond, with the red hair, should be easy to pick. Boundary throwing. Yeah, they're knocked down again. Handball smothered by Gilbert. Bo Bailey's there again, stepping around opponents, working his way through his marshal, who's come, up from, uh, come down from Carlton in the BFL, and he hits a target for Rosebud at half four with the mark taken by Keegan Downey. One of four members of the 2015 Premiership side in this team today. Kicks long inside 50. No mark taken. Couldn't get it at the drop. Armitage for Bomb Beach. Batsanas here. Couldn't take it. Bailey gets the hand pass out. Play taken down behind in a tackle. Way too slow. He was loitering on that occasion in uh, Joseph Fisher. Free kick goes to Rosebud. They kick it long inside 50. No mark taken. Cummings is down there. And then a hurried shot at goal. Wobbly shot at goal. Just misses to the right hand side. Jay Nance Cowan is there as uh, the goal sneeze. He's go down goal so far this year. He was front and square, threw it on the boot just outside the goal square, and maybe hurried to kick a bit. The second behind on the board on the Thirsty Camel Bottle Shop scoreboard. So they now have the footy at half back. Armitage couldn't get it on the half volley. Batsanas tackles him well. He gets support though at half back. They bring it around the other side now, Bob Beach. Nice kick. And they can play on quickly and kick long inside 50. Looking for Liam Hewlett. Can't take them out. Dennis Lane at the back. Snapping, goaling. This is what they're so good at. They go inside 50 once. And the former Swan and Saint kicks his 25th goal of the season. They went straight down the guts, basically. Good target for uh, Liam Hewlett. Just made a contest. And at the back, Trent Dennis Lane kicks the first goal of the match. And uh, gee, tough for Rosebar. They dominate the first five minutes all. Bomb Beach go forward once to the social club rooms end of the ground and they kick a goal on the first of Cameron's bottom shot of Rosebud scoreboard. Yeah, Rosebud, all the, all the attack on the first five minutes, or first four and a half minutes here, Dan, and uh, one opportunity to get inside 50 to uh, Rosebud, and uh, to uh, Bomb, Bomb Beach there, and uh, they're very elusive TDL, such a round of corner, gets a goal. Smiling up in the middle. No one can get a clean advantage. 
and there will be another ball up. Tom Baker doing the rough work at the moment for Rosebud. Fisher brings it down. John Anscow manages to wrestle the footy away from McDonald. No need feet, but coming the other way. Hurry kick by Fisher. Drives him towards centre half forward. May have been held on to uh, by Kennedy on this occasion. Trent down the slain and he lays a tackle as the ball was sort of pitched in front of them 30 metres out from the goal as Bomb Beach are attacking their lead by four points. Baker pushed out of it. Gilbert attacks it hard, 30 metres out from goal. Throwing on the boot, Fisher! Make something out of nothing. They go forward twice and kick another one, Bomb Beach. Two straight 12. Rosebud yet to score. Thirsty cap, bottom shot with Rosebud. Scoreboard. Fisher then just uh, rode it quite well and uh, the Hill Columbus come through there. It's coming the Cummings and the chain. See that uh, big Matty go on the rack and Steve O comes off. Candidate for our Truman's Golf Range goal of the day. It's early days, but he was under a little bit of pressure. Mind you, Trent Dennis Lane's goal around the body was a beauty as well. Ten point lead, early stages. We played six minutes in the opening corner in foggy conditions at Rosebud. A little bit, thrown up. Matt Cummings wins it down, beats Fisher. McDonald a threading hand pass through traffic, looking for Verma. Had to lay a tackle in the end. Batsana squeezes it for Rosebud into the middle of the ground. Now they have an opportunity to drive it long. Comes from Jane Nance Cowan, kicks inside 50. No mark taken, balls at the drop. Gilbert's there, couldn't take it. Corrigan feeds out a hand pass. They've got it at half back. Hurry kick comes from Bomb Beach towards McDonald, who just makes it look easy by weaving his way through traffic. Gets a hand pass off to his mate Casey. The Casey's kick is turned over by Fletcher Husway in front of our commentary position for Rosebud. A trail by 10 points, driving long inside 50. Almost a mark down there to Tom Baker. Couldn't hang on to it. It spills out to Jackson Casey. Handballs to Shane McDonald. They just look for each other on all occasions. He's tackled front on, loses control of it, unable to get a clean possession close to the boundary. He might be dragged over the line he is at half forward for the Buds. Just notice the Baker there, the, the bomb bench was a sort of down two against one, sometimes three against one could be Baker there. It's hard to put that mark. Boundary throw in, taken by Batsanis and the long sleeves, his hand pass is a little bit slick for McRae, tries to take them on, gets the hand pass out, turned over though on this occasion, and uh, they'll drive the kick around the wing towards the boundary, Carter was involved, and they skid a little kick towards Owen Hewlett, who in his third game did that in back for one week, he kicked five in his return against Red Hill a couple of weeks ago, right in front of our commentary position again, 10 point lead on the thirsty camel bottle shop of Rosebud. Scoreboard. Gee, I thought that Matt Cummings might have actually thrown that out of the ruck. It's picked up on this occasion by Mitch Jett for Bomb Beach. Kicks it high inside 50. No oh, mark taken. Oh, oh. Yes, there is a mark taken. Owen oh, Hewlett. Oh, I thought these two Rosebud opponents might have knocked it away, but he controlled it the entire time. And that has to be a candidate. I know it's early days for our mark of the day for the Culture Business Technology Centre of Melbourne South. Just two or three blokes are running back from the ball there and double over the top of them and uh, took a beautiful mark. So you're not up about 45 metres out to slide ankle towards a couple of them. Night half forward. Chance for their third goal would be virtually their third inside 50. Talk about efficiency and Rosebud have been inside probably double the number of times with just two behinds. The margin 10 points. His kick is on the line and it speaks at home. It was certainly heading straight, then it seemed to maybe fade away, but still snuck in on the right-hand side. Three straight, 18 to nothing, on the Thirsty Camel bottom shop of Rosebud scoreboard. 16-point lead, and of course our main sponsors today. And I was down there on Thursday in beautiful still conditions at the yeah. Rosebud Country Club Hall. How did you hit them? Well, I didn't hit any of them, because uh, I'm not capable of hitting them. But uh, it was good to be down here, sort of the north and south courses. Spoke to Danny, the general manager, had a lovely time down there. They've got a great setup at the Bowls Club as well. You can become a, a member of the Bowls Club and a uh, fantastic setup. Yeah, Throw it up in the middle of the ground again. Matt Cummings wins it down. Armitage at the drop, taken and a tackle placed on him by Husweight. Handball from Boss, run down, full race, but for the centre square. Turned over again. Hurry kick comes out from Bomb Beach. And on that occasion, it was from the boot of Waterston. Ball still in the middle of the ground. No one can get a clean possession. And the umpire says, give it to me, boys, I'll throw it up. 
just the on balls here for uh, on beach. They're just getting it out much quicker than uh, Craig at the moment. Runs so deep, doesn't it? That yeah. midfield, as we know. Here's Mitch Chandy, wins it at the drop, kicks inside 50 towards half forward, a bouncing ball. No one can get a, a clean possession, so Carlos missed it. Now, McDonald receives a hand pass from Liam Hewlett. He gets it quickly, it's kicked around the body towards full forward by Hogan. Here's Dennis Lane, goes in hard. Kennedy's with him, wearing him like a glove. They're under pressure, 25 metres out from the goal. They're defending Rosebud at the social club room's end of the ground, and it's held up once more. They need a goal here, they work pretty hard, and they're only two points, they're down by 16 points at the moment. Run up again. Taken out of the rope by Fisher. Great piece of work. Clean hands by Fisher. He's doing the rope work with Tom Hogan injured. Kicks his second. His 19th of the season. And that certainly is in contention for the Trimus Golf Range goal of the day. Four straight 24 to 2 behinds on the thirsty camel bottle shop of Rosebud scoreboard. Fisher, he's just dominating in the ruck at the moment and also down forward, getting that tall option down forward. As I said before, he got the wrong ball there like the and at the moment, they've got Bennett, Gilbert, and Lockie Gilbert and Oof all on the bench. Thrown up again, taken by Jed, gets the hand pass out towards Verma, had it run down though, knocked away by Rosebud, but Verma gets it on the second grab and then gets another smother. Good play coming the other way. By Rosebud, they do want to sort of lock it up, but again, Armitage is there, getting a lot of it. He'll square it up nicely to Fisher, who's having a great match. Now to Armitage, who kicks across the face, towards half-back, taken by Douglas. Douglas pushed him aside, scores a little kick along the ground, finds McDonald, feeds a long hand pass out, puts his teammate Bailey under the punt, runs into two opponents. Turnover now, good play by Rosebud. The hand pass comes out now from Fisher in the direction of Marshall. Marshall kicks beautifully inside 50. He was under the pump and he was offloaded, but he's still got plenty on the kick and a very, very strong mark taken in the left forward pocket for Rosebud. Looks like it'll be Tom Baker. Thank you, Paul. And that's a candidate too for our Telstra Business Technology Centre, Melbourne South. Mark of the day. It was a big contested mark under the pump. It was one on one then, so he had more chance to get it before from Beach for taking two players or three players on him, but uh, Tommy Baker, why not trust you guys? Slight angle, 35 there. They've got to make the most of their opportunities. Unfortunately, right across the face into the outer forward pocket. Spills away and it's out of bounds. Four straight to two behinds. Yes. Mark the first quarter. So you've been thrown back into play. 22 point lead. Cleared away again by Douglas towards the halfback flank, but Rosebud had the wall set up on that outer side. Hurry kick comes out from Hardwick, his brother Blake plays at Hawthorne, was runner up the best and fairest. Then they try and get a kick inside 50 again. Rosebud very close to the boundary. So Carlos involved there, but Bombay will get a free kick at half back. High ball. By Verma, comes to the wing off hands, no one can take the mark, goes to ground. The umpire says give it a move, it'll be thrown up in front of the scoreboard. 22 point lead, Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop. Stop into the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop for some cold beer and Cooper Specials. And they've got their match on screen today too, as they bring it around that outer side of the ground once more, Long Beach. No one can take the mark. Here's McDonald again. He steps through traffic. Feeds a hand pass over the top. Chance for an open goal. 25 metres out. They kick another one. Shane McDonald has got the footy on a string and they're just running everywhere. And getting on the end of that and finishing it off superbly is the young fellow in Carter. And kicks a great goal. Just they're getting in that inside 50s opportunities there, Bombay. Five times five, for five goals. Five times, five goals. Uh, Rosebud probably having a couple of bit more, probably seven or eight times, but they just, just cannot uh, get the opening, get the opening goal. Not two points, but pretty handy lead at this stage, yeah. 28 point lead, been a big day for Rosebud. They had their sponsors and members luncheon and Don Scott and Tony Jewell were speaking and Don Scott magnificent I was talking about John Kennedy had four conversations with him throughout his long career and uh, Don Scott's coached by John Kennedy 
Uh, John, John Kennedy coached on Scott Morton, he had a play, and said all the conversations went about three words. Here's Mitch Jett getting it out of the middle of the kick, through to hand pass, but it's intercepted. Long kick inside 50 by Sean Downey. Has missed a lot of footy this year with injury off hand. Here's a chance now, Nan Scow, and he reads it like a book, loves the goal, knows where they are. He just came up like a sprinkle then popped out of nowhere to row that at the front of the pack. And Steadings for a goal, and Rosebud finally gets a reward for effort at the Rosebud end of the ground. One to eight to five straight. 30, first goal for the Buds on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop of Rosebud. You just wrote the tank nicely there, Dan. You called it, and there's plenty of time. Steadings got it through, which they definitely need to get that goal in there because uh, they were struggling a bit there, but uh, still plenty more time to uh, get a couple more goals in. They get, get out of the centre. On beach at moment, they just put it out of the centre. Yeah, they sure are. Joseph Fisher playing that role would normally play forward. They've got the two Hewlett's down there now, so they can replace someone quickly. Sam Gilbert with them, they're winning all the clearances. Handball's defensively to Waterston. Waterston kicks inside, 50. Mark was dropped down there by uh, Kennedy. Then uh, Dennis Lane receives a hand pass from McDonald, and he dribbles it along the turf for another one. Six inside, 50s for six goals, and another candidate for goal of the day for Truman's goal range. Notice the goals in the back there, not an out for him. He's gone. Donald the very loser. He is killing Naka. He just knows where to get the ball and the hands on. See the out of classic here. He just read the well off Naka and dribbled it in for another goal. He'd be right in contention for best on ground Naka already in the opening quarter for Jeff Wiggle Ford, the branches in Frankston, Mornington and Hastings. Been serving the community since 1979. Throw it up. Up goes Cummings again, he misses it, and balls in the middle of the ground, number of players fighting for it, Kuypers, who also plays volleyball at a high level for Rose, but I remember early in the season in the heat against Sorrento on Easter Saturday was BOG for Rose, but thrown up again, one down by Stephen Cummings, he wears 36, Maddie's twin wears 27, loose ball in the middle of the ground, handball comes out now, they'll draw it along through Fletcher Husway, Kicks inside, 50, bouncing ball again. Who's going to get there? At the back, they managed to clear it through Jackson Casey, didn't quite find the target. And then an excellent tackle laid at centre half forward by Von Beach. And that was by Tyson Murray. At centre half back for the Von Beach team. Casey. Almost had it, had an opponent come through and take it away from him, wins it back though. Gets the hand pass out to Bailey, now the hand pass on the outside to Bennett. Bennett delivers in short to McDonald, takes the mark comfortably. Close to Josh Fisher, kicks close to the line, Shane McDonald. Bit too close to the line, the intended target was Owen Hewlett. And a rare error by one of the greatest players who's played on the peninsula and Shane McDonald, seven time best and fairest at the Von Beach Footy Club. So, to be taken by Matt Baker, kicks the half forward for Rosebud, but off hands, cleared at the back by Verma, high kick to the wing, Baker goes up again and makes a nice score, playing in defence, falls to Owen Hewlett, his opponent, forces out a hand pass, attacks it hard, the young boy Osmond, then gets it Owen Hewlett, has the kick run down, now a hand pass comes out from Sir Carlos of Rosebud, Batsanis might have been tackled when he didn't have it, ball jarred free, falls to Boss, Boss back to Marshall, Marshall shakes the tackle for Rosebud, kicks high on the left and that's the mark of the day! If ever I've seen one, the big seesawing market, one opponent in front, one opponent behind. Yeah. Great mark by Keegan Downey, and spinning on the outside, Marshall receives a hand pass, but the umpire says you've got to go back. We're not, even, we're not even a quarter time yet, Paul. Played 18 minutes in the first quarter, and the margin's 28 points, and that will be, I reckon, our mark of the day for Telstra Business Technology Centre of Melbourne South. Keegan Downey, low and flat, inside 50. No one can take the mark. Socket away by the reliable defence of uh, Bomb Beach. A hand pass comes out. Unfortunately, not able to take it clearly, uh, cleanly with 10. Keeps it inside, attacking 50, though. Good pressure. They've certainly uh, upped the ante a little bit, Rosebud, but again, the turnover not good. Mitch Gent didn't go 15 as he got the intercept. Got tackled. Marshall's there again for Rosebud. Might put it back at half forward. Feeds the hand pass on the outside. Little hand pass comes out again. Batsanis. Batsanis, high kick. Inside 50 and a good strong mark taken by Cummings. Again, a good mark. Contested mark with a number of players milling around him. And he has it in the right forward pocket. This is Matt Cummings. Matt Cummings directly in front can put this one through and get their second goal on the board. Margin 28 points on the Thirsty Camel Bottle Shop. Rosebud. He kicks the goal. 
They've got a couple. He's the great Don Scott leaves. He's wearing a, uh, a brown beret, red top, yellow work gloves, and um, what, what would you call them? Brown corduroys. He's a very different man, the great man. He is. It was a goal. Yeah. So you've got Gilbert Lerat there now. For, uh, for Fisher coming in there. Gilbert's going to do that. Oh, it's coming for all the time there. There's a couple of tension there. So we'll be doing all those. Yeah, round the grounds for Great City against Australia. We'll get there soon. Throwing up the middle. Cummings goes up. Fisher holds his ground. Quick kick comes out from Bailey, though, as they're winning all the clearances. Coming the other way, Marshall, he's been good so far for Rosebud. Coming back from Carlton in the BFL. Kicks down the wing for the next one, Mark. Going with the flight, and that's got to be 50 metres against Boss. I'm not sure whether it was worth 50, because I reckon his momentum went with him, but that's a very, very strong mark taken. And this is Waterston, who's uh, as hard as a cat's head. And he has the ball on the wing. The big tattoo on the right leg. Kicks high inside, 50, almost a mark. Excellent mark, last line of defence taken by Kennedy. He missed a lot of footy with a hamstring, but a very key member of this side in defence. Slides it out wide to Sakalis. Gets the hand pass to McRae. Kicks Rosebud down the outer side of the ground. Cummings is there, this is Matt Cummings. A post to Fisher who lays a tackle. The turnover's on now. They win it back with a little hand pass inside. This is taken by Gil Renouf. Gil Renouf kicks inside, 50, but Matt Sarnas camped it's in a half back. We'll cut it off for Rosebud, who trailed by 22 points. He spears it wide to Kennedy on the broadcast side of the ground. Six straight 36 for 2 2 14. Kennedy goes back to the outer back pocket and picks out McRae. McRae kicks it down the line again and had two plays he could have picked out, but the kick didn't have enough depth on it. And Gil Renouf is able to chip in. Looking for teammate to mark. No one can, but Bailey runs onto it. Gets the hand pass out, Hogan, half distance pass. Hurry kick inside, 50. Mark almost taken, not quite on that occasion for Bomb Beach. Loose ball, Oswald did well to get a little kick in. Made a good contest, Rosebud clear it again. Around the outer side of the ground, they try by 22 points. Steve Cummings is there, Fisher's leading. And Vernon's lending Fisher support for the Sharks. Two on one to see it out of bounds, just in the scoreboard. Six straight, 36 to 2 2 14. 22 played in the opening quarter on the Thirsty Camel corner bottom shot of Rosebud. The major sponsors today, the Rosebud Country Club. Tap that. Cummings wins it in the ruck contest. And a free kick off the play will go to Steve Cummings. His kick is no good, he's looking for hard work. It chips close to the boundary, but he does well to keep it in, or did he keep it in? Don't think so. There's a turnover anyway, Bomb Beach is way inside defensive 50. Not a bad crowd here, Dan. No, it's good. Nah, it's good. good. Yeah. Second afternoon in the chill. They're building up there. It's going to be throwing on the wing, second against fifth. Bishop taps it down. Handball over the top. Loose man everywhere. And it's taken at half back by Bennett. Oh. Kicks down the line. Coates was involved as well in that exchange, but a turnover for Rosebud. McCrane short to Marshall. Marshall couldn't take the mark off hands. Armitage taking an attack and tries to squeeze it out to Verma who lays the tackle. Marshall on hands and knees does well again. Good play. Hardwick on the outside receives. Kicks inside 50. Pack crash. Chance down at the back. If it can be picked up by Nance Coward who loves a goal. He knows where the ball's going to fall well inside the 25 metre goal zone. He runs into the open goal for his second and they've kicked three of the last four. Rosebud finally getting some reward for effort with all their inside 50 entries to the city end or Rosebud end. 3-2-20 to 6 straight 36 on the thirsty camel at the bottom shot of Rosebud. Just the elusive player of years on the forward line. So they've they got them down there, Rosebud. McDonald and uh, some more players up here for Long Beach. But off the top of the pack there, I can go. 3-2 by 6-6. 20 goals for the season for Jane Ann Stown. Cummings wins it down. His bay gets crashed into by Marshall, who's been good. Front end centre square for Rosebud, holds it up, made the second attempt, very good though for the Sharks, going in hard. Hardwick's a hard nut there for Rosebud as well. Stephen Cummings open-handed slap, intercepted by Bailey. 
Bailey stand start kick inside 50. Fisted away might have been the wrong way by Sakalis. Gilranouf leading in the race, goes to ground, lost his footing. Handball comes out now, good play Tid. Taken by uh, McRae, chips around the body, but it'll come straight back to Coates. Coates kicks at the Sharks inside 50. Close to the boundary, but Kennedy's in there, working hard. Got shoved into that football and tried to feed a hand pass out to Tid, but the umpire's team holding the ball. Might have been a bit unlucky then, I thought. McRae involved as well, and a free kick will go the way of Bailey. Yes, he does. He kicks inside 50 now through the fingers from Rosebud. No one can take the mark. That was Maynard and in the end it had to be shoved through from behind by McRae. He had a couple of opponents on his back and the first behind is on the board for Bond Beach to the social club rooms end. 6 one at the 3 2 20. Kick back into play. In short. Taken by Tid. Kicks long to the wing. No mark taken. Loose ball. It is very scrappy at half forward for Bond Beach. High scoring game. Nine goals kicked in the opening quarter with nearly 26 minutes into the opening term. Main faces match of the day. Casey's there. We'll get a shepherd from Coates and kicks the footy up for the Sharks. Kicks back inside 50. Kids at the back. Can't take the mark. Gets supporting Matt Baker, throws it on the boot. A comfortable mark taken by Verma. Verma does well, kicks back inside, 50. No mark taken, balls at the drop. Well done, Kennedy clears it. Handballs to Marshall, bouncing ball towards the wing. One and one inside, 50 now for Rosebud. Overrunning it is Douglas, also overrunning it at the back is Murray. Then gets the hand pass back to Bailey. They didn't panic, good hand pass on the outside to Douglas. Chips in short now and Corrigan, another reliable defender, can slow it down. Corrigan, will he board his kick? Two centre half back, taken now by Casey. Casey will switch to the other side of the ground as Rosebud zone back. Now they've got a chance to set something up. This is Jet, has a bounce, looks up. His kick's not particularly great, but gets it on the half volley now to Gilbert. Gilbert turns an opponent inside out and darts a little pass inside 50. That's the class of Sam Gilbert. Hang on quickly. A high kick, long to full forward by Von Beach. And through for a behind. 38 to 3 2 20 it was fishy a right ball an 18 point lead on the thirsty camel corner bottle shop with rosebud scoreboard 27 minutes played in the opening quarter kennedy to inbound again gilbert third the best and fairest for the saints in 2010 by every game and they made the grand final high kick no mark taken at the drop, then Hamill comes out from Reed down Scow and seen much of him so far. Wins the footy back and then he just floats a kick to the wing. Attacking it hard, bringing it to ground. Good play by Gibson. And then that's Arnis. Back to Gibson. Gibson forward of the play. Delivers to half forward. Kicked it to find the target. Should have been a better kick. And now they've got numbers at the back and they clear through Douglas. Mr. Reliable. Played his 150th game a couple of weeks ago. Should have made more of that forward 50 rows, but and uh, eventually Mitch Jen has the footy inside the fence at 50. Switches again to Corrigan. Corrigan can get out now. He kicks to Armitage who's found some space on his own. Runner up the best and fairest for the Saints in 2016. What a side and kick that was in the middle of the ground to Casey. But Casey looked for McDonald, but he wasn't there. So it's turned over by Maynard of Rosebud. Handball's there to his teammate Reed down Scowan who's wrapped up an attack from just outside the centre square. By Armitage it'll be fun. Conor McGregor look like there, uh, Stacey, uh, Stacey, 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 from five forward entries. Rosebud had a lot of forward entries early days, only scored two behinds, but fought back late in the quarter on the first of Camel Corner Bottle Shop. Scoreboard 6-2-38 to 3-2-20. A major sponsor today is the Rosebud Country Club. Come and discover what makes Rosebud Country Club unique and highly regarded. We look forward to giving you a warm welcome. The goal kickers, Fisher's kick two, one of them a candidate for Truman's Golf Range. Get on down to Truman's for the Peninsula's best pizza, beer and also golf experience. And also kicking two is Trent Dennis Lane. Owen Hewlett's got one and Jason Carter's kicked one. Uh, five, so two points each for Bombers and Red Hill.
In a good reserves game here, we've got uh, Rosebud Little though, they needed a win to keep the finals chances alive, a very strong percentage, and then Bomb Beach on top. Uh, two goals quickly to hit the front, and then Rosebud had the last kick of the day to win virtually. So it was a good game. And in the seniors, 6 2 38 to 3 2 20 on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop scoreboard. Five goals from five forward 50 entries. The first five that they had uh, very efficient early days. Bond Beach, Fisher playing in the ruck has kicked two and a big candidate to be best on ground for Jeff Winkle Ford. And Trent Dennis Lane's also kicked two. John Nance Cowan's kicked two for Rosebud before they the up in the quarter. And our coverage today brought to you by the Rosebud Country Club. Thrown up in the middle of the ground again. Cummings might have uh, got up a little note, gets the free kick. Stephen Cummings against uh, Fisher. Gets the hand pass out to Husway. Kicks his team inside 50 towards half forward. Numbers at the back though. Cleared by Murray, wearing the long sleeves. Kicks the Sharks out towards the wing on the outer side. No mark taken out there to Young Hogan. He falls on the ground trying to get hold of the footy. Under immense pressure, held up. The umpire says holding the ball. Not sure then, not sure. Don't like that decision much. But it'll go to Ted. Handballs at close quarters. The kick gets smothered for Rosebud. Slips to McDonald. Wrong man to have it. As far as Rosebud are concerned, kicks Bomb Beach inside 50. Bouncing ball, Dennis Lane. Gets the hand pass out to Ryman. She just bounces off tackles. And on the left, spots up the player on his own Bailey. That's why he's played 169 league games, David Armand. He's runner up in the best and fairest at the Saints. And in his best, he was also top five in the number of possessions in 2000. And at 16, as the Saints started the season slowly that year, Paul, but yeah. won eight of their last 11. And uh, you he can just, you can just tell those good players. Yeah, absolutely. They're lining up. No Bailey slot angle 40 out. It's coming back. It's coming back for a goal. Heading left, and it came back right. And they've now kicked seven goals. They've been accurate, and uh, that's virtually from as many scoring shots. They've been inside 50, but they've scored. Nine scoring shots, nine inside 50s, 7-2, 44 to 3 2, 20. Thirsty Camel, corner bottom shop, scoreboard of Rose Bay. Dennis Lane there too, he can attack the ball there, get the handle out to uh, the Armitage there, just balanced around, looked around, saw his off, as you said, straight the bar, he looked through. Fisher playing well. Cummings though wins it out of the centre, gets the hand pass on the outside. Driving the team long inside 50 is Maynard. Bouncing ball but at the back. Mocked up by Douglas is Mr. Reliable. Kicks the Sharks to the outer side. Late small made out there by Kite. As we haven't seen much of him so far. It was so good earlier in the season. A post of Verma loose ball. Going on the ground. Not able to pick it up. The Sharks on this occasion. And Verma lays a very good tackle. After Bennett went to ground. And then McDonald wins the free kick. Spears it out wide again. Fisher. He's a good player isn't he? Kicks towards half forward. He turns it over on this occasion. Picked up by Cummings and Rosebud. Feeds the hand pass out. Hurry kick comes inside 50 and uh, they take a mark and left half forward. If you can drive long, this is Downing. Downing looks to take over the point and then he slips over. We've got one high. Might have been a bit lucky against Murray. The ground slip and mate. This is Sean Downing. Had a lot of injuries this year. After being dominant in 2019, he was going to try with Collingwood last year in the VFL, but COVID hit. And now he sends the ball to centre half forward, getting up to Mark, shoved underneath. It should have really been a free kick, I thought, on that occasion to Rosebud. But Corrigan's there at the back, gets the hand pass out towards Gilbert. Gilbert kicks into space, bouncing ball now. Good hand pass comes out from Corrigan. Got it to the young fellow, Oslin. Back to Corrigan. Corrigan gets it to Oslin. The young fellow, the first game of the redhead, kicks to Dennis Lane. Wow! Right Takes the mark. Opposed to Kennedy. Good mark. Big candidate for a our Telstra Business Technology Centre of Melbourne South Mark of the Day. You can tell he had his... Yeah, he did. Oslo there was just a beautiful player from the back line. He ran him down and took the one, the one, two there, and got his pace and beautiful pass there to the TDL and lining up for his uh, third. And the name written all over that as well. Slightly left of centre half forward. Trent Dennis Lane for his third and 27th of the season. We're right behind this. He doesn't miss too many. It's left the whole way. Comes back slightly, but not enough. And a behind. 7 3 45 to 3 2 20. Thirsty Campbell Corner Bottle Shop with Rosebud Scoreboard. The main coverage today for the Rosebud Country Club. Into the back pocket now. Comes from Kennedy. To Downey. Kicks up the line. Can't hit a target. Now to bounds once more. 
Taken by Joseph Fisher out of the ruck, throws it on the boot, inside 50, bouncing ball. At the back, taken by young Josh Fisher of Rosebud. There's a few fishers out there and they eventually clear to the outer side of the ground. Fletcher Husswade on the left, will kick down the line again, looking for Cummings. Cummings can't take the mark, comfortable mark taken by Von Beach. On the wing, on the outer side. Fisher again, he's been terrific, Joseph Fisher, he looks to half forward, getting up, Armitage, couldn't take the mark, ball goes to ground, picked up by Trent Dennis Lane, Beautiful. lovely pass under the pump, on the left, off the edge of the boot, and at the corner of his eye, he saw Owen Hewlett into space, and he hit him beautifully. He just, he just takes time. In short again, and Shane McDonald's on his own, that is a loose marking by Rose, but they'd virtually given up the ghost to Hewlett and go back and have a shot, and they'd switched off, allowing McDonald to just... Drift into space, and he's the wrong man to drift into space as far as the opposition is concerned. Lucky Gilbert and Earth coming back on. Owen Hewlett comes off. And Shane McDonald. Remember, a couple of years ago, he kicked six in the interleague match at this ground. And he kicks, I oh, know he's just to the right hand side. It looks straight for a long while. 7 4 46 to 3 2 20. Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop with Rosebud Scoreboard. Got big Tommy Marshall's come off the ground. Both covers are on. They've got Green down here for the mouse. I hope they're not looking for the line, but Rosebud's home. Gary Kennedy high to the outer side. And once again, they've got numbers down there. Bomb Beach, so they take them out to kick back inside. 50. Fisted away from Carter, who's kicked a goal. Roving now, getting hold of the footy is Jane Nance Cowan. But his kick is no good, he kicks across the face. And they've got numbers everywhere, as cutting it off as Corrigan. And he finds Liam Hewlett, who spent a couple of years on Melbourne's list, pick up the 2015 National Graft, which claims that Clayton Oliver at number four, it goes all right for him. Yeah, left half forward. Right behind this kick. This to increase the lead to 32 points. Off the side of the boot. Deep into the attacking zone, doesn't matter. Great mark to Bond Beach. In contention for the Telstra Business Technology of Melbourne South, mark of the day. And that is a huge pack mark. David Armitage has taken the mark. He is solid. He is certainly not the tallest player there, but he's as solid as anyone out there. That was an excellent mark under the pump. Starts the back, kept his eye on the footy and clutched it superbly. Slight angle, 30 metres out to increase the lead. He drills in home for another. 8 4 52 to 3 2 20 on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop scoreboard. And we'll go around the ground shortly for growth. Sydney gets Australia. We've got to check out Truman's Golf Range Goal of the Day. Trent Dennis Lane, Joseph Fisher in contention for a couple of those already. As the Sharks dominate this game, leading by 32 points. And Joseph Fisher having a rest, a well-earned rest, a, a big candidate for our best on ground. Jeff Wignall Ford serving the community on the morning of the Peninsula since 1979. Throwing up the middle of the ground again, Matt Cummings. Beats Sam Gilman doing the ruck work. Rove though by Verma, they're winning all the clearances. Bon Beach back inside 50, no mark taken, but out the road, Armitage is there again. Delays getting rid of the footy of the opponents around him. Eventually he was smothered by Hardwick. Now they've got a chance on the wing and they can pick it up. Jane Ann Scowan in the blue boots is there. Cummings lays a tackle. And then Armitage also is there to dish out a tackle for Bon Beach on an opponent in Hardwick. His brother was runner-up in the best and fairest in Hawthorne a couple of years ago. Blake. Yes. Thrown down again. Armitage puts it out to Bailey. Back to Armitage again. He's confronted by Batsanis. Feeds a hand pass over the top. They do well. They have numbers every inch in. Manages to get out of a Batsanis tackle. Handball's on the outside now to Bennett. In front of our commentary position. What a kick that is. Hits the chest of his teammate in Liam Hewlett. Loose men everywhere, marking it centre half forward. This is Jens, feeds a long hand pass out. Corrigan's a long way from home and he darts it on his teammate's chest. 
And this will be a shot at goal for Oslin, the young fellow. Yes, taking the mark. Good play there, Dan. That's had plenty of time. They brought it back. Put the 45 angles. Had plenty of players in the centre of the ground there. Just beautiful, quick pass in there. Right, a centre half. Quite a lot. This young boy, he's uh, looked very accomplished in this team. This to make the margin 38 points. He doesn't get it as well as he would have liked. He kicked it a bit high, not long enough for it. 8 5, 53 to 3 2, 20. Back into play goes Joey Kennedy to half back on the outside. High ball comes from Maynard, kicks it down the line towards the wing. Neymar take it. Good tackle made by Tom Baker. One of the pair of Waterston at Bond Beach, and it'll be thrown up again. 32 point lead, 10 minutes gone in the second quarter. On the Thanks and Jeep time clock. Vantage call. What's going to be a free kick to lead Hill doing the rug work. Kick inside 50. No mark taken. Numbers at the back. Kennedy is there and he threads a long hand pass out in hope. No one can really get a clean possession. Eventually, it will be a free kick and it's going the other way against Batsanis who went in to get the footy. He was tipped an opponent and has come off second best. It's Corrigan. Corrigan dabs to half forward. And the mark taken by Gilbernuth. Gilbernuth in short again and Bailey's all on his own. They're just loose inside 50, takes on an opponent, steadies and then stumbles, gets the hand pass out. He, what he should have done was go back and have a shot. Deep in the pocket, high kick towards full forward, across the face and through for a behind. Losing their feet, a couple of players down there and Carter was involved as well. And Yes, he and Bailey probably should have been a bit more composed. Kennedy's back into play. <laughs> And it's turned over. And it's taken now on this occasion by Tig. Kicks it down the line again. Baker, Matt Baker, kicks down the line for Rosebud towards the wing after he took the mark. And then a number of players get involved in the contest and put it over the boundary. Getting players behind the play, Bob Leach. They're well disciplined, they're well organised. Boundary throwing, not to the front. Picked up by Carter, he's riding it. Kicks inside 50 from the Glen Hill at tap, and Sam Gilbert takes the mark. He delivers in short again to Armitage. The two former Saints know each other well. He backtracks inside attacking 50. Having a lot of it, David Armitage. Lovely kick by Gilbert. A 208 league games in a fine career. Mind you, Armitage had a good career, although uh, beset by injuries in the latter part of Paul 169, he contributed to the Suns. Yeah, nine and a half minutes. Too far out, I think. Left footer. Veterans legs. 33 point lead. 12 minutes in the second quarter. On the left, and in his endeavours to get the distance, accuracy is sacrificed to behind 8654 to 3220. Back into play, Kennedy. Kicks out a teammate and takes the mark for Craig. Hits the ground running, his opponent overcommitted. Kicks to the wing, attacking it hard is Downey. Well played, Peter Downey, good defence again. Jackson Casey getting in the way, there he is. Have a look at him, hard as a cat's head. Yeah. Matt Douglas goes back and pats him on the back. Hogan as well, boundary throwing. Knocked down by Liam Hill, doing the ruck work. And Armitage is there as well. Damon Cobb has got there, Dan, before we get out today, he's back to the new city. These ones are the followers. They put down my name in three days, I'm probably going to bring it. Where I call him, Greg. It's a confident thing he is. He's a terrific player. Taps to the back. He still believes he should have been BAG, even though they lost that grand in 2013. As a kid in the back five. Played really well. Liam Hewitt has a player running for him at half back. This is Bennett. Bennett looking to hand pass. He's held up, though. This is good play by Sean Downey, forces him to go sideways, but they've got numbers everywhere. And a comfortable mark taken at half back by Douglas. He delivers down the ground into the sandy area. And again, Hogan goes wide, laterally to Armitage, from our contrary position. This is into the wing position now. And they're just running everywhere. Donald gets involved, Hogan gets involved, Liam Hill involved. 
all the half distance passes. McDonald now at the footy, attacking side of the wing. Bangs it long inside 50, looking for someone to mark. Not able to take the mark was Owen Hewlett at the back. It's mopped up by McRae. McRae gets it on the half volley towards Huthway. Then gets the hand pass down in the direction of Maynard. He gets close to the boundary. Now they've got players able to sit up and Batsanas takes the mark at half back from the 45. Batsanas has to go backwards because they've got nothing on offer up the ground. Convice have got players covering the middle of the ground so they switch to Kennedy. And now Stoffel's playing his 100th game and he kicks very close to the boundary and a lovely piece of work with the ball's about to hit the ground by Liam Hewlett who two hands it over the boundary. Haven't scored this quarter, Rose. No. 8-6-54. Two goals, 4-0. In 15 minutes of footy. Tap down by Cummings. Road by Nance Cowan. Hamble misses the target. Dennis Lane is there. Been whipping through Stoffels. Drives Rose by the oh. half forward. Great mark. Casey coming the other way. What a great mark that is. One of the best uh, contestant marks we've seen today. He switches on the outer side. They've got players ready to queue up now. Nice kick down the middle of the ground by Hogan, and they, uh, by Chapel I should say, and they kick inside 50, but again Rosebud turn it over. The kick had come from Bennett. Quick clearing kick towards the wing, but Marshall got up high, and a good start to the game for Rosebud, not having much influence in this quarter so far on the long sleeves for the Buds. And it's out of bounds in front of our commentary position, broadcasting from the timekeeper's box today. So Rosebud scoreless. Bomb Beach, two goals, four, 15 minutes gone on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop of Rosebud Scoreboard. Corrigan, Coates, and um, Armitage on the bench. bench. Just watching this one. Yeah. Spare three, some sit down there. Sold it off the ground by Fisher, but that's Arnis in the road. Offload it, free kick down the ground, I think. Might go to Reed and Scowan. We had on the footy show on Wednesday night with his twin brother Jay. He's two minutes older. Get out of there, mum, Lisa. So free kick on the wing, and it'll be taken by. Marshall, who's been with Carlton in the VFL on the left, kicks inside 50, getting up a mile down, he tried to take Mark of the Year, not just Mark of the Day, but the Telstra Business Technology Centre of Melbourne South. At ground level, it's cleared out of the fence again, good play by Murray, he got the tap from Bennett, tapped down to the middle, and sharking beautifully is a gent, but then he runs into trouble, good tackle laid by Downey, but they've got numbers everywhere, Gilbert, he overruns it on this occasion, rare error, Husway does well to pounce for Rosebud, feeds a hand pass out, quick yeah. kick inside, Fibber. that's better play, good yeah. mark taken by Tom Baker. The kick came from St Carlos, just threw it on the boot quickly but kicked it to the hot spot. Slightly right of centre, half forward. 34 points for lead. Yet the score, as Paul said, in this quarter. Tom Baker. Kicks through the footy, kicks through the footy beautifully. Gee, to say they needed that is the understatement of the century. Rosebud 4 2 26, trailing Bond Beach 8 6 54 on the Thirsty Cattle Corner Bottle Shop of Rosebud. Now, major sponsors today are the Rosebud Country Club. Come and discover, and say down to Thursday, what makes Rosebud Country Club indeed and highly regarded. We look forward to giving you a warm welcome. I think that goal then said it's just a Two goals to one, Cummings. Neutralised by Fisher in the run, and the umpire believes that Fisher was neutralised because he was held on to by Steve Cummings. He'll kick his team towards half forward. It's a beautiful kick, and out on the lead is Owen Hewlett. Playing his third game this year. He's uh, right in front of the race by the coach's box. He'll deliver long inside 50. Trent Dennis Lane will be the target. In the end, he gets out of the lead. He, he just hits him on the chest beautifully. Just watched him then. He's in the square, just waiting, waiting, waiting for him to pick that goal and keep on the edge. He pushed his player away. Of Verley's descent, descent runs around and just misses to the left hand side. Opened up the angle, another behind. So kick too far this quarter. The Sharks 8 7 55, 29 point lead over Rosebud, 4 2 26.
on pitch is too quick and the, the one ballers are very, very good and forwards are very They're good. almost a full strength on pitch and those bugs with a few players out. Seb Crummish, one of them. Very important. Remember that Premiership side in 2015. Kick back into play and Marshall takes the mark and plays on quickly on the left. Kicks down the line for Rosebud. High ball bounces to the back of the pack. Coates is there to clean up now. Coates will kick across the face, but he'll kick it straight to an opponent. And a comfortable mark taken at half forward for Rosebud. They've got a chance oh, of going on with it, but unfortunately the Bombleach player stepped over the mark. And there will be a shot at goal here. The idea was there, but the worst mistake so far today for Bond Beach. And this is going to be young Josh Fisher. Point blank range in the orange boots. He kicks the goal two in a row. 50 metre penalty and a bad kick across the goal face. So a turnover from Bond Beach results in Rosebud's second goal of the quarter. And they get themselves back into the game because Bond Beach not making the most of their opportunities. Just before half time. 8755 to 5232 on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop of Rosebud. A 23 point lead at the 21 minute mark of the second quarter. A good goal there to young Josh Fisher. Four minutes. Just a uh, bad turnover there by Wayne Pods there. Got that goal and Fisher there. Back in the middle of the ground, McDonald, yet another clearance there, dominating the clearance as he kicks low. Look at that for a pass. It was magnificent. And he finds his teammate taking the mark, Bailey, at right half forward. Keep the goal so far, Bo Bailey. Will kick it low and flat again into the pocket to Fisher. Getting a late score, McRae, a solid defender for Rosebud. Puts it out of bounds, 10 metres around from the goal square at the Rosebud into the ground. 55, plays 32, 21 minutes played, 23 point lead to Bond Beach. Two goals apiece this quarter. But Bond Beach have kicked two goals by. Steve Cummings to do the ruck work. A post to Gilbert, ball goes to ground. No one can get a clean possession. Good, tough, contested battle on that occasion. The umpire says, give it to me, boys, I'll throw it up. Sean Downey, trying to keep Gilbert out of the contest. Loose ball again, picked up now on this occasion. Armitage, he has the snap. He gets pushed in the side, it doesn't matter too much. In fact, it was the left footer, Waterston. The other left footer, and he misses to the left hand side. Eight. 8856 brother to 5232. I do love it. Yeah, on the you heard about that during the week. Rexy losing his job at 3 0. Back into play. Was told by the uh, director of the sport to go to an ad break with his interview with Dipper and he went on and gave him a tirade and said, What about the pillars of 3 0? Myself, oh, well, Norman Banks and Harry Bonds and the bloke he used to kiss a fish when he had hair. And then was told, uh, It's all over for you, Rex. Throwing up at half forward on the other side. 65 from goal. Cummings wins it down, trying to burst his way through his bend, taking it a tackle. Coming the other way, Hardwick had the kick run down for Rosebud. Gent through to hand pass on the outside, close to the boundary line. McDonald's there again, lost it, regained it. But unfortunately for McDonald, as he was weaving his magic and all those tricks he's got, it goes out of bounds. 60 from goal. 32 to 56, full goal lead to Bond Beach, close to half time. Thirsty Camel, corner shop, bottle shop of Rosebud scoreboard. Boundary throw in, there'll be a secondary bounce. Player has tackled the ground. Bond Beach should be. get hold of the footy. I think they should be done two or three more goals over this game. So just a few shots from the ground there. Gent on Hardwick, won by Stephen Cummings, gets the hand pass out. <laughs> Picked up by Hardwick off the side of the boot for Rosebud on the wing on the outer side. McDonald's there again. Shakes the tackle. Does a U turn to get away from the opponent. Feeds on the outside again to Verma. Verma kicks inside. 50. Good play to knock it down. McRae at the drop. Kennedy feeds a hand pass quickly to Bat Sons for Rosebud at half back. Delivers towards the wing. Baker shut down a little bit too easily by Douglas. Douglas slips a hand pass over the top to Murray. Murray for Bomb Beach kicks close to the boundary and a good mark taken by Coates. Gets a hand pass over the top now. Slips one into Corrigan. Corrigan does well to go for a beautiful 45 metre daisy cutting pass. As good a pass as you're likely to see as Joseph Fisher says thank you very much and was skidding on his knees inside 50 at left. Half forward to the Rosebud end. Beautiful pass there, you don't mind it. Just uh, saw the players leaving and they had plenty of space on. As you said, Dan, you should just get up in front, slid along there, the gym on the chest. Beautiful pass. Now we've got number three, 45 metres out. 
He's having a great game. Must be a candidate for Jeff Wiggle BOG. It's a wobbly looking Stephen Kernahan type kick, but it has the carry for a goal. The finger breaking mongrel punt that Rex Hunt used to make famous, and when he had a country punt in it as well, it was going 100 miles an hour. You're always a bit worried, weren't you, Paul? It's just not then, Ben. No, not then. 9862 to 5232. Holy moly, here we go. Margin out to five goals, don't worry. I was uh, going long enough. 30 point lead at the 25 minute mark of the second quarter on the Thirsty Camel Corner bottle shop of Rosebud Scoreboard. And then to it, um, one by Cummings, beats Gilbert, out of the middle goes Verma, throws it on the boot, hurries a kick to half forward, clean bowls everyone, McDonald's waiting for it on the outside, but good play by Bailey, he picks out an opponent who's running right, on the right hand side, he did not panic, and Mitch Chen is having a huge influence, a lot of footy in the VFL, he takes the mark at centre half forward. 32 plays 62. Almost at half time, Adrian Connolly, the coach of Bomb Beach, will be happy with this as they search for their fourth goal of the quarter. They kick 3 6 to 2 straight. Right on top here, this very strong side. Gent from 45 metres out on half time. Kicks and goals. They're happy with that, the Sharks. Two and a couple of minutes will make it tough for Rosebud, even though we're only at half time. 10 8 68 to 5 2 32, a lead of 36 points. As another one goes on the board, Fisher, of course, has got three for Bond Beach, and Mitch Jett joins the contributors on the scoreboard. Thrown up again, tapped down by Steve Cummings, has to do his own. Robin gets the hand pass out. Robin kicks it. Well, Jackson Casey's there again. Angle T-Bane. What do we bring up? Yeah, as the kick was a little bit sideways from Sean Downey. He's working pretty hard, but probably not getting enough support. The midfield doesn't run as deep as Bomb Beach. So Bomb Beach with a big lead at half time. 10 8 68 to 5 2 32. Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop. Stop it at the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop in Rosebud for some cold beer and food specials. And also they've got the game on at the big screen today here at Rosebud and a very cold other than Big Park. Our coverage today brought to you by Rosebud Country Club. Come and discover what makes Rosebud Country Club unique and highly regarded. We look forward to giving you a warm welcome. You can go around the Knowledge Centre Melbourne South Market the day and goal of the day for Truman's Golf Range. Get on down to Truman's for the Peninsula's best pizza, beer and golf experience. Truman's Road at Bonio there as we start the second half. 10 8 68 to 5 2 32 for the Rosebud Country Club. Up goes Cummings, he wins it down. That's uh, Steve Cummings gets the head pass out, but it's intercepted by Bond Beach. It was Bailey to McDonald's. McDonald's kick off the side of the boot a bit to the wing, but they've got loose men everywhere able to make it look good in Verma. Verma drives to half four, but using his body young team, the youngster in this team, outmarks his opponent. Dabs a little pass. Um, on the half volley to Marshall, gets the kick run down for Rosebud. Ball still on the wing, that's Howans, kicked a couple of goals, couldn't grab it, that's Jay. Here's uh, Cummings, that is Matt Cummings to Jane, that's Cowan. Wobbles a kick now towards Batsanis on the wing, eventually finds the handle, goes back defensively to Marshall, throws it on the boot, kicks the half forward, bouncing ball, Douglas uses the body, waits for the ball to pitch, taps it down cleverly to Bond Beach, overrunning it, rebound Scowan, his brother Jay's there, gets it back to Marshall, delays getting rid of it, got tackled in the end. By Murray. Now it slips back to Stoffels and Stoffels for Rosebud finds Matt Cummings defensively on the wing. They can load up again. He kicks inside 50, looking for Keegan Downey. He had uh, Matt Douglas use his head as a punching bag, and the ball goes to the back of the pack and held up right on attacking 50 for Rosebud, who trailed by 56 points, opening minute and a half of the third quarter. Scrappy at the start there, yep. but do uh, take it for sure? Fisher. Wins the ruck contest, beating Cummings, throws it off the side of the boot in front of the Rosebud coach's box. Don't be thrown again. And the first couple of goals, the Buds. The crowd's getting going too. Big crowd in too, 
32 to 68. Fisher wins it down at the drop. Roved by Reed Nanskow and kicks towards half forward. Knocked away at the back by Murray. Gets support now. Emerging the reliable one in Casey. Kicks towards the half back flank on the outer side. Picked up by Blaine Coates, the former medalizer player. Kicks the Sharks out to the outer side and Corrigan outmarks his opponent at half back. Corrigan. Just outside, defensive 50, left half back. Kicks long down the wing again, up goes Cummings. Can't take the mark, that's Matt Cummings. Spills to the back to Husplate. Gets the head pass out now. Taken down and tackles to Carlos, loses control of it. Verma has the next hand pass, gets it out now the direction of Gilbert. He can't find a target and it is out of bounds on the wing on the other side. So throw him back into play. And they have a six goal lead, Bomb Beach. As the same results go their way, they'll be on top of the table tonight. Boundary throwing. Knocked to the front of the pack. Fisher there with Cummings. McDonald's there as well. Collected by Marshall. Hard on the boundary. Finds his way through to the buds. Kicks to half forward. No mark taken. At the back. Murray's been pretty good today. Spills to him. He rebounds nicely on the half volley now to Oslin. Couldn't take it cleanly, but had teammates there able to mop it up for the Sharks. The kick doesn't quite find a target though, but in the end it's wrenched away and kicked inside 50 by Bailey, uh, by a Carter, I should say, towards half forward as a former captain of the under 19. And uh, thanks to Peter Williamson for those details at half time. Two players have played a big part of his under 19 campaign, doing well out here today, Oslin and Carter. As they'll clear a defence rose but at half back. Play was brought down after Kennedy had taken the mark. He found Fletcher Husway, it was offloaded, and he'll take the free kick at half back for Rosebud, defending at the social club rooms in. No score added for both teams. Early stages, third quarter. And Husway goes to the outer side of the ground, camped underneath and not able to take the mark. On this occasion was Fletcher, picked up now by Dennis Lane, he receives a hand pass, he ops around the body, makes something out of nothing and that's got to be goal of the day. What a magnificent snap, just the kick didn't quite find the target. Rosebud, well, flirting with danger by going from one side of the ground to the other. It slipped to Trent Dennis Lane, he snaps around the body and if that's not a big chance of being our goal of the day for Truman's golf range, I don't know what is, it's probably the clubhouse leader at the moment. Paul Wilson, 11 8 74 to 5 2 32, a margin of seven goals on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop of Rosebud scoreboard. Four minutes gone on the Frankston Jeep time clock. The uh, hard work there by Gilbert yeah, to get that play out to the end of the slowing staff in the form was just magnificent there. So, all well, the back in the summer play, yeah, it was advising the boys. 57 goals for the year for Trent Dennis Lane, kick three today. Secondary ball up in the middle. Knocked down by Cummings. Slips to Fisher. Throws it on the boot. Kicks to half forward. Almost a good mark to Liam Hewlett on hands and knees. He's had a hand pass to Bailey. Bailey now under pressure. Square it up. Look at this. McDonald's here. How well does he use the footy? He says to Trent Dennis Lane, I'll kick it to you on the half volley. Trent Dennis Lane can't grab it. Has a teammate waiting at the four. This is Coates. Coates is allowed through now from 45 metres. He blazes long. He blazes long. And he blazes magnificently for a goal. Two and a minute for Bon Beach, and that is also in contention for our Truman's Golf Range goal of the day. 12 8 80, Rosebud 5 2 32, and most importantly for Rosebud, if Sorrento get up to date, Paul, they can't afford a big percentage yeah. loss. I know they're still a fair way in front of Sorrento in regard to the city, but they can't afford a massive um, percentage loss. Now, Rosebud are 108.79, Sorrento are 98.94. And Sorrento are leading Mount Eliza at the moment, thanks to Growth City against Australia around the grounds. But Rosebud, we've got to try and find some scores here. The ball's out of the through that starts. He wins the clearance to Marshall. Three to hand pass. Good play to win a one-on-one -on -one contest. On that occasion for Rosebud, quick kick comes towards half forward, that's Arnas. Goes back with the flight, couldn't take the mark. Boss won the one on one contest, and eventually, though, uh, they've got numbers everywhere. Oh, Good hand pass comes out magnificently. Verma, Verma finds Coates. Coates kicks to half forward, lunging forward. The mark was dropped by Armitage. At the back is Hewlett. He gets the hand pass. McDonald via Coates, and they kick another one. Champagne 40 by the Sharks. Just lining up here, there. Left right until he could have passed up any other player there, but that runner's going to pass. The on-ballers here, they're just absolutely killing Rosebud at the moment, so 
And the turnovers, they're not even the targets. Two rows, but when they do win a position. Seven goal kickers so far for Bond Beach. 13, 8, 86 to 5, 2, 32. Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop scoreboard. Nine, you've got it. Throw it up in the middle. Tap down again. One by Mitch Gent. Just overcooking McDonald a bit. Love the game of Murray coming the other way. Play got a poke in the eye for Bond Beach. Quick kick inside. 50 for Rosebud and a good mark taken. Ready to fly to the footy, the drop, but uh, gee, they need a lot more of this as Tom Baker takes the mark in the goal square. <laughs> he did. Hopefully. <laughs> Four point lead, and they just need as many goals as they can. Just got to get it in quickly and try and get some separation. It's Tom Baker, the big forward, did on that occasion. Kicked nine goals this year going into this round. This to cut the margin to 48 points, but they're a long way back early stages, third quarter. Drives it over the goal and buyer's cap, kicks into the trees at the rosebud into the ground. 6-2, 38 to 38, 86. Margin, 48 points. Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop of Rosebud Scoreboard. Stopping the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop with some cold beer and Cooper Specials and our main sponsor today, Rosebud Country Club. Come and discover what makes Rosebud Country Club unique and highly regarded. We look forward to giving you a little more work. I think Bud needed that goal as a better understatement, but uh, I just can't see him get back in the slot. There's no one. There's one or two back in the school. There's one leaves and one leaves and one leaves. 48 point lead. Nine minutes gone in the third quarter on the Frankston G. Time clock. An outstanding display by this football club today. Cummings in the ruck. Manages to beat Owen Hewlett. McDonald's there. Taking in the tackle is Nance Cowan by Owen Hewlett. The Hewlett boys are just doing their role, aren't they? Doing their job. They're not having huge stats, but they're doing the one percenters very, very well with Tom Hogan and an number one ruckman out at the moment. Tap down. Road by Armitage. Feeds a hand pass out. Taken by Casey. Casey tumbles a kick down towards centre half forward for Bomb Beach. Fist it down. Didn't get a decent tap on it. Kennedy. And then a great tackle late to keep it back inside the attacking 50 by one of the young boys in this Bomb Beach team and Jason Carter. And it will be thrown up again. Stephen Cummings do the ruck work for Rosebud. I'm going to go by a free kick there to Owen Hill and all over like a cheap suit. Picked up by Mitch Jett, kicks around the body. In the back as Matt Baker tried to fist away. But an opponent was in front to take the free kick lead. And Hill playing in front, doing what he has to do. As we said earlier, presenting nicely the former Melbourne draftee. Slowly right of centre half forward. One of those free kicks when you're playing in front, you just get the opposite opponent from the front of the top. And mounting off is a big thing. Oh. So, undisciplined somehow. Is that Robert Boss? I think it might have been. But it's not, it's not a 50 metre penalty for me unless it's a very serious offence. Yeah. I've always been, been big on maybe 25 for the mouthing off, 15 for you know, the, the knock away of the ball unintentionally. 50 for a bad offence, and as he goes into the goal square and makes a certainty of it, there's no way that was a certainty for 55 and a slight angle for Lee Hewlett, even though he's had AFL experience, but he's kicked the goal from the goal square, and uh, it's becoming tough now for Rosebud, and Nick Jewell will be disappointed with his lack of discipline too, giving away easy goals to a team that are dominating them already. 14-8, 92 to 6 38 11 gone in the third quarter. Thirsty Camel corner bottle shop off Rosebud School. It'll go to Owen Hewlett. Casey. Yeah, they are. Owen Hewlett in the centre circle. Can draw a man. Verma, who's been pretty good at the low of the ice. Kick inside, 50. Bouncing off the chest of Fisher at the right. William Hill that does well as tag. Handball intercepted by Kennedy. Feeds a hand pass over the top. 
Coach Beckler to Kilburn Moose, gets the hand pass to Nick Coates. Coates leads the ship for Dennis Lane and receives it from him. Gets up loaded, but still delivers nicely into the middle of the ground. That's a good mark standing over here to Casey, who had it fisted away late by Brittany and Scarlett has been quiet. Kicks it now towards Bennett. Bennett is at half forward, 60 from goal. Set sail long to full forward. No mark taken. Dennis Lane's at the drop. Taken and the tackle. Swivels the hips. Handles out to heal it. Had the hand pass picked off. Intercepted by Marshall of Rosebud. High kick to half back. Underneath it is Steve Cummings. Takes the mark. Handles to Marshall. We keep running for the old one too. Lowers the eyes. Kicks down the line. Douglas gets up. Can't mark it. Taken by Downey. Sean Downey over the top. Handballs now. Misses the target of his teammate who goes in after it again. He hasn't had much involvement. Today and Gibson tries to lay a tackle very close to the boundary from Rosebud and puts it over the line. That, wearing a long sleeve. That, that free kick earlier there, and I was just watching Sean down there demonstrating with the umpire there, but the Long Beach boys ran off him and he was still there for yeah. two or three minutes demonstrating why, 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 why. That's why Long Beach put the ball down there. It's 238 to 1492, 54 point lead for Bomb Beach. The Downey boys have been pretty quiet today for Rosebud. Cummings taps to the front, Reed Nascow in there, can't get himself ejected in the game either. Fletcher Hushway trying hard for the Buds, throwing up once more. Go around the ground shortly for Great City Gets Australia. Will help you retire in style. Tap down once more. And thrown up, yes. The hockey retirement style significantly enhanced superannuation for an ideal retirement lifestyle. Anytime fitness, a major sponsor today, preparing you in the pre-season, maintaining you in season, and helping keeping you fit and motivated in the off-season. So another ball up at half forward, left half forward. In fact, the free kick to go to Rosebud. Huss weight to Bat Sanders. He's kicked lacked a bit of carry, getting a hand on it, Murray. Trying to get hold of the footy and inject himself in the contest for Rosebud is Bryce Gibson and he can't. Throw up 40 metres out in the cold conditions, foggy conditions, frosty conditions of which Pongos have kicked 14 goals, tap down, one by Cummings, handballs on the outside of Batsanas, snaps around the body, two on one defenders they down there for Bomb Beach, they fist it through for a behind among it, Ben McLean, one of the most reliable defenders in the comp. He'll kick back into play. He'll favour the broadcast side of the ground or poachers box side of the ground. Tony Hill it makes a good contest. Balls at ground level. Now Rosebud might win a footy. Marshall's been probably their best player. Gets the hand pass out, breaking a tackle. Keegan Downey kicks long to fall forward from 45. Left hand side misses another behind. 6 4 40 to 14 8 92. Thirsty Campbell corner bottle shot with Rosebud score. The clean to inbound again. Goes in short, half distance pass. Uh, Could have been a penalty again. Another one that had a few of those, and yeah. it was going to go to Kennedy as he hit him on the chest at half back, but it would be taken by McLean. He's no, right in the middle of the ground, and no one's on the mark at all, zoning no off. There's only the space. Kick to half forward, almost to mark the tip, Dennis Lane. The trim Dennis Lane, he used the body brilliantly. Cleared out of the fence by Baker. Got the hand pass wide now to Kennedy. Kennedy got it via Maynard, but then it's turned over again as they set up the wall and they mark it half back and uh, Oslin takes the mark and goes inside now to Tyson Murray. Murray in the long sleeves of switch again as a player on his own, Mitch Jett should mark. Three, two opponents came in late, he gets shoved around. That's nearly got to be 50. If the others are 50, that's 50, because he clearly taken the mark and then he got shoved away. He delivers inside 50 again. Wedged in between was Liam Hill. Couldn't take the mark. Slips to Cummings at the back. Waited for the ball to bounce to him. Took an eternity. Got it to Marshall. Steps around and opponent. it. Marshall, the VFL player, kicks long for Rosebud. Down the line. Oh. Second grab. That should really be paid. It will be to Sean Downey. And that'll be in contention for the Telstra Business Technology Centre Melbourne South mark of the day. And for our BOG for Jeff Whitman Ford as well. Here is Sean Downey, wildly low kick, inside 50, and Jane Ann Scowan reads it nicely. He's kicked two goals today and 20 for the season, kicked five last week in their big win over Pines. Good to have him on the footy show during the week, loves LeBron James. And will change clubs, or change franchises as they call it in the NBA, all wherever LeBron goes. Why not? He will veer in 55 from goal, long kick to full forward, oh, big mark. strong mark in the goal square to Rosebud. Magnificent mark, and that's just about going to be our mark of the day. He might have taken two in a minute. He has shot a goal, it is Keegan Downey. Point blank range, kicks the goal. He's wearing the iridescent blue boots. 
That's definitely our mark of the day for Telstra Business Technology Centre of Melbourne South, and it's a nice kick by Jane Ann's cow, and it was a chaos kick into the teeth of goal in 7-4-46. But they trail Bond Beach by a big, big margin on the Thirsty Camel Corner bottle shop of Rosebud Scoreboard. They've actually doubled their score, Bond Beach, 14-8-92. So first goal today to Keegan Downey. Good we'll strong mark it was. It was. Contested mark to a big pack came in front. Rosebud have got a spare play in the back line now. That's a spare play at the point somewhere. Two goals to Tom Maker. 11 for the season. Out of the middle goes Matt Cummings. Got it his teammate Hardwick. Pulled off the footy holding the ball. Free kick to Gilbert. Dominated a lot like a lot of other players today, but they've got so many it doesn't really matter. Gets it on the half by the coach who's been on his own all day. And he's been a very good player, the former Metalizer player. Kick ball beats the centre half forward. That's going to be a mark pay. It was a bunch of way late. And the chopping of the arms, so they've given it either a free kick or a mark to Fisher at centre half forward. What a game he's played. Either way, left or right, and they've got players spared. The coach was clear there by you know, 20, 30 metres, and still have been told running through the guts there, too, and that's a very good team. One of the legends of the Bomb Beach Cricket Club, a life member, Bryce O'Connor, who opens the batting in the first in his knee, playing reserves footy early in the season, walks past us. Shot a goal 40 metres out by Fisher, low and flat to the social club room's end. And there's another one, four goals to Fisher. Two in the first, one in the second, one in the third. And the lead gets out now to 52 points again, 15, 8, 98 to 7, 4, 46 on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop scoreboard of Rosebud. And Fisher has got to be oh, in the reckoning yeah. for the Jeff Wigmore Ford, the OG, who played 19 minutes in the third quarter. Jeff Wigmore Ford have got branches in Hastings, Frankston, and Mornington. Thrown up in the middle of the ground again. Owen Hewlett does well to beat his opponent in Cummings. Out of the middle again. Good play on that occasion by Gents. And he finds one of the young boys, Carter. Carter marking it left half forward. Plays on quickly. Kicks inside 50 again. Getting in front almost a good mark to Fisher. Brings it to ground. McDonald's there. It's always danger when he's within the vicinity. 50 metres out from the goal. They're attacking. Picked up again by Gents. Defensive hand pass. No good. Then it's down and halves it. But Gilbert's there at the spill. Handles to Owen Hewlett. On the half volley to Liam. Liam stumbling and bumbling. Gets the hand pass on the outside though. Taken by Coates. Chipping on the right foot, the non-preferred inside 50 off hands, no mark taken. Good play by Bailey when the ball hit the ground. Good attempt though by Jari Kennedy to clear. Got the handball to Baker. Got the hand pass out again towards Maynard. And Maynard had the kick turned over at half back by Coates, who is having a sensational quarter and must be starting to be a contender for the DOG for Jeff Woodnall forward. Coates now unsure what to do, will kick on the right. Lobs it long to full forward. Should have gone to TDL, went to the wrong option. Almost to mark last line of defence for Rosebud, and it will be. Then he's going to try. Yeah. The lead at the moment by 52 points. McRae, wobbly ball to the outer side of the ground, bouncing ball. Goes to the back of the pack. No one can get it. Quick kick comes out towards the wing on the outer side, emerging. Is Rosebud player taking in a tackle and a free kick going against Baker. Go the way of Bomb Beach on the other side. And the kick comes from Waterston, who gets the free kick, spills to the back. Row though by Kennedy, he'll clear his team. Rosebud out of trouble. Kicks towards the half back line. Mark taken by Boss has been quiet. He kicks close to the boundary now. Batsana's up. Drop what he should have taken. Handball's in front of him, looking to make advantage for his side. But it goes out of bounds. And it's going to be covered by Ben McLean at the lab will shut down the defender for Bomb Beach attacking side of the win. The lead 52 points at the 21 minute mark. And Frank's the deep clock, family throwing once again. Tap down. And Kennedy, Verma by hand, McDonald on the outside, kicks inside, 50, great kick. Good mark taken by Fisher, who's been superb. Centering ball, Trent Dennis Lane, two to beat. He recovers best. 
goes to the back of the pack, picks it up, breaks the tackle, runs into trouble, runs the other way, hard on the boundary, centering ball back to full forward, bouncing ball for Gent, McDonald's there as well, knocked down, the defence is good, Kennedy gets the hand pass out to Hardwick, Hardwick now to Reed, down Scowan, finds Jane down Scowan, and Hardwick is put down, so free kick down the ground. Jane down Scowan has big Cummings, four sets of brothers in this team today, and Steve, sorry, Matt Cummings takes the mark on the wing, in front of our commentary position, drives it long, three on one against, almost a good mark too. Fon Beach, they hold it up though at half back, and that's been another issue today for Rosebud, they had now with the numerous contests, that Sarnas was ready to pounce if, on that occasion, Owen Hewlett uh, dropped the ball and he didn't lose his footing and was able to take care of the footy in his endeavours to take the mark. Getting up too early, Steve Cummings, but wins it down. Husswaite, good play to get a hand pass out to join Nance Cowan. Little kick comes towards half forward on that occasion from Fletcher Husswaite. Four rows, but emerging now Armitage. Armitage got a hand pass out towards uh, his teammate who has it turned over Murray. And then it's taken by Fletcher Husswaite, kicks inside 50. McLean does well to foot it away on the half volley. Picks it up now, has three opponents around him. Got the hand pass out to Murray. They're helping each other out. Now uh, Gilbert does well to chip over the top. There on the outer side of the ground, player brought down at a tackle. That was Carter, turned over again, but Murray picks up a loose ball. They've always got players there to help out even if things don't look good. It slips to the back to Trent Dennis Lane. Wobbly, 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 goal! Oh, it's been magnificent. The defenders went down, he kept his feet, he kicks his fourth, and he's having a huge influence on this game with his class on that forward line. Just too strong, aren't they? They've just got the, you know, the, the runners at the back line there. It's had it all day today, Dan, and yeah. then everyone else. It's just, they're a running machine they have on Bench and Mark. And the back line, the wheels, you know, very, very, very good. 16 8, 104 to 7, 4, 46. Making the changes, you know. Yeah, we're going to do the right belt, too. Another chance for goal of the day, the dribble kick, Jason Dunstan wouldn't have liked it. At Truman's golf range, get down to Truman's, Truman's Road, Bonio for the Peninsula's best pizza, beer and golf experience. Pizza's are great, the beer's great, and the golf looks sensational too. Balls in the middle of the ground, getting a hand pass out of a tent to Burma. Spun around on a tackle for a long, long time, it should really be holding the ball from that rut contest, but he's not penalised, despite the good tackling, based on him. Try up again. Steve Cummings does well, but all went brilliantly by McDonald. Gets tagged, gets the hand pass on the outside to Hogan. Hogan to Armitage. Armitage met late, but his kick is still good enough to find a target. And Gilbert Gilbert is at half forward, delivers it short again to Armitage again and keeps running. He's on the left, he kicks side, does the kick magnificently looking for Fisher and takes the mark. Kennedy tried to come across his bowels, but it just had too much on it. You could just see him there. Just a left foot there, spun around, you can see he was going to hit Fisher there on the chest and he did. He's going to roll number five, Fisher. 16 8, 104 to 7, 4, 46, a 58 point lead on the Thirsty Camel Corner bottle shop on Rosebud scoreboard to get it past 10 goals. The lead, nearly 25 gone in the third quarter. Nick Jewell would just be disappointed the way this team has just done as it's like. It's kicked accurately. Fisher, he's missed my right hand side. Maybe he's just took a bit too much time there. 16 9, 105 to 7 4, 46. The margin 59 points. Three quarter time will go around the grounds for great city against Australia. He's been outstanding. Just about the PAG with Jeff Wigan forward. Back into play Kennedy. He's short to the back pocket now to the orange booted Fisher, it's Josh Fisher, and Husway. Husway curls the left foot, which hits Sean Downey, just takes the mark. He gets the hand pass out to Marshall, back to Sean Downey. Delivers Rosebud to the wind, big fist uh, on that occasion by Rawston, should have taken the mark. Receives the ball again from another fist, and got taken high. Waterston at half back for Bomb Beach. Delivers high now to half forward. Underneath it is Carter. Getting back over is Baker. Might have flicked that up on the up and almost the way to Sean down. The umpire said, no, that's okay. And then he's taken down and the tackle placed on him by Bo Bailey on Bomb Beach. Throwing up, attacking side of the wing for Bomb Beach. Going to the change rooms into the ground. The tackle down is okay. Play taken high on Bo Bailey. He was going to be tackled high and then he's brought down and the umpire's going to be 50 metre penalty. Yeah, Husway giving one to go on with. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, it's been disappointing today, isn't it? And they've given away so many fifty minutes. Only a soft tap, too, says the guy Soft tap, too. Soft tap, too. Yeah. Soft tap, too. 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 Managed to come back the other way. He kicks his second bow, Bailey, and another goal from a 50 metre penalty. I mean, when you are getting belted, you can never afford to give away 50 metre penalties for goals as well, but they're doing that too. So the second goal, and that is their third goal from a 50 metre penalty, and Bombay's have given away one in this quarter. Yeah, in this quarter, which is. They got back to their mind, they've got three goals here, and they've got a couple of penalties since then, it's just been all the way captured to Mombuja. Discipline, uh, efficient, and fistful. 79, 111, 7, 46, the margin, 65 points. It's been a thrashing in this quarter for the Sharks. Premiership footy, tap down in the middle, they could be on top, depending on what's happening between YCW and Edith Vale. Aspendale, who had a handy lead at half time. The issue with the Eagles has been their inability to play the full quarter, but we'll check on that shortly. finger on that buzzer, we can hear it loud and clear, and we're loving being uh, in the palatial surrounds and high up, right on the wing of Olympic Park in the timekeeper's box today, we thank Peter Hogan of Bond Beach and Mark of Rosebud for allowing Gameface to be here and accommodating us today, organised by Nick Jewell and Rosebud. So 7.446 to 79.111. That down by Steve Cummings to kick off the last quarter. Hardwick gets the hand pass out. Taken by Boss. Handball now towards Maynard. Maynard defensively. Jackson Casey's in the road. He's been magnificent again today. And he got us to the outer side of the ground. Both oh, he's played a fine game too. Just behind the wing. Kicks down the line once more. Looking for someone to mark. Can't. Picked up by Waterston, he gets hemmed in a little bit and then he centers the footy up towards Bo Bailey, who made good uh, position and then had the footy knocked away by the opponent to ensure the ball is not jarred free on the wing on the outer side. Rod Boss, who got involved with a nice punch from behind, tapped down again. Handball comes out from Edmonds, sorry, from Cummings, that is uh, Steve Cummings. Picked up by Kennedy, Kennedy grubs it along the turf for Bo's boat. Clean bowling, Jane Nance Cowan at the back. He's probably should go today, Murray. Murray mops up now and just uses the footy neatly for Bomb Beach, close to the boundary line on the outside. Loose men everywhere. Kick on the half volley to Fisher again. 45 from goal. Kicks along the full forward. Not a good kick. And skidding forward and taking a good mark. Last line of the fence for Rosebud. And they kick the ball out towards the half-back line now. But again, making an absolute meal of that is McRae. He wants support in stopples, or he can drop that like a hot spud. And then they're surrounded by the Bomb Beach Army, the Swami Army, the Bomb Beach Army. Good hand pass by uh, Liam Hewlett. Got the hand pass out in the direction of uh, Bennett. And then a lovely left foot spearing pass from Dwayne Coates has been brilliant. Finds young Oslin who also looks very accomplished at senior level. He marks on his chest at left half forward. It's like a big pull shark, just zooming down in, just taking the play, isn't it? Going into the, the reach, quickly, quickly, fish the rhythm. Left half forward. And when you fumble the footy... Yeah, no, it's correct. It's this good side. So, Oslin, as we said, looks at home at senior level. He'll veer in, open it up, doesn't quite have the carry or the legs on the kick, kicks along the full forward to the teeth of goal. Rosebud players are there trying to tie it up, just in the 10 metre goal square, the Rosebud end of the ground, <coughs> and no change to the score. It's 7 4 46 to 79, 111 on the Thirsty Camel Corner bottle shot and still boarded Rosebud. Line up once more, open handed slap, taken down at a tackle arm at inch 19 feet, trying to burst his way out of there, but going nowhere. Rosebud. That, that was Josh Fisher in the orange boots. 15 metres out from goal. Steve Cummings open hands it down. And now they can release out of defence. Matt Baker got the hand pass out to Fletcher Husway. But the kick will be turned over again by Coates, who's been superb. Feeds the hand pass over the top to Bennett. On the outside to Corrigan. Corrigan on the left, lowers the eyes. What a great kick that is. 
almost hit his teammate on the chest, couldn't hang on. Oslin does well to keep the ball alive in the spillage. Handball now towards Liam Hewlett. Got the hand pass out to Bennett, nearly run down. Kick finds a target in mid -shed. They just keep it moving from one half forward fleet to the other. And a good mark taken, 45 from goal for another shot at goal. This is Carter. Yeah, we're just watching the ball, we're not watching the opponents for that. Well, don't panic, and uh, Rosebud is just unsure of the number of man up inside defensive 50. They've been disorganised. Early in the season, they were so organised with their defensive pressure and their organisation at the back. Mitch Gibbs is a big loss for them as well. He's been a very solid, small defender for them this year from Nary Warren out with a hammy. Spoke to him before the game, probably two or three weeks. Misses to the left hand side, that shot at goal by. One of the young boys from the under 19s, Jason Carter, 1710, 112 to 7446. They play on now. Joe Kennedy got the hand pass in, the receiver in the old one too. And then finds a target in Sanders, who's been quiet. He has to square it up. And a good mark to Boss. Boss on the edge of the centre square. Defensive side, but his disposal is dreadful. Turnover to Waterston, who's been solid again. Has to step around an opponent, does with ease. Then he kicks the centre half forward. No mark taken. Balls at the drop. One by Marshall. Gets the hand pass off to Husswade again. His battle manfully for Rosebud. Kicks to Tom Bay. That was a good kick on the right side for him. He takes the mark at half forward. Plays on quickly. Opposed to Corrigan. Wobbly ball inside 50. I reckon Sean Downing trying to extricate his way from his opponent Casey. And a good hard struggle. Was held on to. The ball hadn't even arrived in their vicinity. And Downing will take the free kick. Slight angle. 25 out to the social club rooms or playground end of the ground here. And it's just being held there by uh, Connor McGregor there a little bit. Uh, so Dan's going to line up for his first uh, shot at goal, which is normally gets a couple of them in the game. 112 to 46, the lead 66 points, and down his kick as a goal. Makes it 60 points, 8-4-52 to 17-10, 112. No, he did do what I do call very well. He'd be wanting his team to win this last quarter and try and win it comfortably and ensure there's not too much damage to their percentage in regard to the fact that if Sorrento are able to get a win over Man Alive, which tied at three quarter time around the grounds for both City against Australia, um, it would ensure that they would still have a bit of a percentage advantage on Sorrento. They were 10% ahead of them going to this round and they would stay inside the top five going into the next week. Right, again, Marshall took the tap from Matt Cummings. One crack at it, two cracks at it, three cracks at it, still can't get a clean position. Running onto it though, 10. Handball to Batsanis. Over the top, that'll read down Scowan. Read down Scowan, could have kept running through it on the boot, hurriedly, and panicked. And really could have steadied it for 35 hours as they get it back into play again and then it receives. From Corrigan. He will head to the out back pocket now for the Sharks. A queue up. Love the game to Bailey today. Takes the mark in that outer side of the ground. He's been there Gibson today, Bailey. At half back, kicks it low and flat. Oh, what a mark from behind by Fisher. Mark of the day. Telstra Business Technology Centre of Melbourne South. Mark of the day. He has been he also probably with the BOG for Jeff Whitman Ford. Kicked four goals. Fisher at half back. Like a seesaw, Tippy in taking a mark. Kicks into the middle of the ground and finds another target. Coates has been sensational. Almost met late, but he did, he did well enough to take the mark. Then the one to Douglas, the reliable one. In front of our commentary position. Now lead by 60 points. One of each. to score a major in the last quarter, which is seven minutes old on the Frank Sajik score. One finds McDonald. Attacking side of the centre circle, then short and out of chance. He's got a player on the outside, riding a rough shot. Gets the handball out to him now. He kicks long, high and handsome and misses to the right-hand side. It was Ben McLean, the defender. And it's 17-11, 113 to 8, 4, 52. On the thirsty counter corner bottle shop of Rosebud scoreboard. So McRae to rebound. Important defender for this side. Kicks it high, kicks underneath it a bit towards the half back line. Sean down in there, almost a mark to Waterston, the opposite. In fact, Keegan down in there, the opposite number four. Keegan down here, where's number four for Rosebud. Couldn't complete the mark, goes to ground and locks it up. Attacking side of the wing for Rosebud. Love a goal to the Rosebud end of the slowest quarter. Open handed slap by Cummings. Stepping through Marshall. Taking an attack, a standing tackle. We've got McDonald. 
Shane McDonald hanging on along with Sam Gilbert has been pretty solid today as well. Working his way to the front is Fisher, beaten by Cummings. Feeds a hand pass out now towards uh, Sean Downey. Then a hand pass to Hardwick, then a hand pass to Tim. Let's control it. Look at the pressure by this team who are 10 goals up. Good hand pass comes out now to Wallace to originally for the end. And now on the up, Coates back to Jent defensively. Now they share it beautifully to Douglas. Douglas picks out a player on the other side of the ground and takes the mark at half back. In short again from Carter. Bennett gets it from Armitage who took the mark from Carter's kick and weaves his way through traffic, kicks inside 50 down his way and can he get to the front? He's like a cat recovering very, very quickly and he still follows the footy up. Taken in a tackle though by Boss, handballs to uh, Armitage. Got the hand pass out in the direction of McDonald, slung in a tackle. Feeds the hand pass back now. Taken by Gil Renouf. Kicks long inside. 50, oh, great oh, mark to Fisher. How good's he been? He stood tall and in the end virtually took it unopposed. 25 out directly in front. How good have they been? The way they've been sharing the football today has been sensational to watch. Yeah, this has been very clean. And Sydney for only compassion. It's just very clean. And they're running off the back line there. The 45 angles is pretty, very good. And you've got a bloke like Fisher, Liam Murray, resting in the forward line. He's playing for goal number five. Uh, it's just rolling by the non football player. Slightly left of centre half forward for his fifth goal. He's going to have a rest now, Trent Dennis Lane. As Liam Hewlett, who's done his job today, will come back on. Might do some work in the ruck to help Fisher up. For his fifth goal, Fisher kicks through the 40, and that is. A handful the big Joseph Fisher and 22 for the season and the boys come from everywhere. It means a lot to him, it means a lot to the club. He's been sensational in the ruck. Has to be best on ground. For Jeff Whitnell forward with branches at Frankston, Hastings and Mornington. And of course our coverage today headed by Rosebud Country Club. Come and discover what makes Rosebud Country Club unique and highly regarded. We look forward to giving you a warm welcome. And Ryan Real Estate also a big part of our coverage for $1,000 to home club with the property lists, sells and sells. Beautiful well there, Cummings wins it down. May have been defeated there, Mitch Chen. You might have a hand pass there. What a hand pass that was from Coates. Under pressure, threads it cleverly towards full forward. No one can take the mark. Ball goes to the back of the pack. That defensive rosebud's been under the pump all day. Hand pass comes out to uh, McRae, who shakes the tackle hard on the boundary, hooks around the body. There's that man again, Fisher, marking in front of Matt Cummings. He has been sensational today, Joseph Fisher. Left half forward with his team up at the moment by 67 points on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop scoreboard of Rosebud. Kicks inside, 50, looking for someone to mark. Liam Hewlett's there, spills to the back. Hill Renouf's there as well. He can't take the mark. It goes close to the boundary. It's kept alive momentarily. Only momentarily. And then over the line. Right the side of the behind post at the Rosebud end. Possum has been okay. He's there, ready to work for... Bob Leach looking for the loose foot, he couldn't quite find it. Boundary line was too close. Tapped down by Cummings again. Knocked down. 30 metres out from Bob Leach's goal. They try and keep it alive and keep inside the attacking 50 for Foz. Does well to extricate himself from the contest and kicks to no one in particular. It's all sharks out there. Casey is there. Corrigan was going to arrive first, but he allows Jackson Casey to get there first and hits Owen Hewlett on the chest. Owen Hewlett now will square it up back to Casey, who keeps running, attacking side of the wing. His team with a lead of 67 points. Jackson Casey has been solid today. Kicks it high towards the forward pocket. Liam Hewlett is knocked down in the contest as the pack collapses, goes to the boundary, Fletcher Husbake, taken in a great tackle, placed on him by Osmond, and pushed over the line, 15 around from the goal, but they're kicking to Von Beach in the last quarter, which is 12 minutes old on the Frankston Jeep time clock. The sun has come out, finally come out of that. Boundary throw it, better late than never, Cummings, two hands it down. Again, handball comes out, Jet not there. Marshall pounces. It is a dangerous kick across the goal face, but it might come off. Good mark running with the flight in the back pocket for Rosebud down at the Rosebud end. High kick down the line towards the half back line. Looking to get up is Matt Baker. Can't take the mark. Spills to the back. Douglas is there in the road. Reed Nance Cowan's had a quiet day. And Matt Baker takes the footy again, but is taken in a Matt Douglas tackle towards the boundary. Boundary throwing. One of our commentary position broadcasting from the timekeeper's box today. We thank the Rosebud Footy Club for organising this and 
Mark from Rosebud, and Peter Hogan from Bob Leach for allowing us to share the box with them today. Handball comes down, missed by Verma. In the road, good hand pass, Dennis Lane to McDonald. They just share it brilliantly. Verma receives again. Liam Hewitt got a hand in it too, the hand pass. Kicks inside 50, but a good defensive mark at the back of Kuypers. In fact, they're going to get a free kick because there was a player in front shove. Mitch Jett, not sure there was much in that. And he'll take that free kick at half back. Mitch Jett kicks inside 50. Now on the lead, that should have almost been a mark down there to Fisher again. The only mistake he's made all day. He got in front and just couldn't quite hang on through his fingers. Been terrific today. He's team up by 67 points. 13 goal last quarter. Cummings beats one, beats two, two moving, holding the ball. Marshall punches it down again, still inside defensive 50, though, for his team, Rosebud. Good hand pass, Rebounds Cowan under the pump. He heard the voice of Marshall. Marshall kicks inside or towards the edge of 50. Baker couldn't take the mark at the drop. Cleaned up by Casey again. Got the hand pass to Douglas. That defence magnificent. Switches to the other side now to Hogan. Hogan kicks his team towards half forward. Taking the mark, spinning around opponents as Gil Renouf has a bounce. He's on the free show a couple of weeks ago. He gets a shepherd, delivers in short to Dennis Lane. Dennis Lane marks at half forward. Now towards the centre half forward position, or still the half forward flank really. And Oslin gets out on his own and marks inside 50 right forward pocket. Well, it's been like that all day. I mean, the way that had the overlap with the kicking. It was quick and football. And on these boards, it's pretty fantastic. Last year I made a comment about Red Hill being well, two years ago, best team on the peninsula and got Belt and I'm going to say this is the best team on the peninsula in 2021. Kick by Oslin towards the goal square, almost to mark to Fisher off hands. He wasn't sure he was going to make it. Tried to mark, couldn't the defenders there as well. So it's 18, 12, 120. Rosebud 8, 4, 52, 68 point lead. Back into play, looking for Sean Downey to take the mark and he takes the mark. No, he doesn't. Off hands, almost took the mark. Not a big influence. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Nance Cowan, boys, pretty quiet. Jay kicked a couple, but hasn't really had much of an influence other than that. Boundary throwing again. Coming forward to battle hard and rock. Been under pressure. One by Fletcher Husway. He was taken in a standing tackle, but got through for the tackle from Cummings. But turns it over again. Another unsung hero in the fence in Gorston. now will go back to Jackson Casey. He's not an unsung hero. He's a hero. He's a star. He marks it half back, yeah. The old man Paul. Post the BIG for Jeff Wigman Ford, and he was down the line again, getting up high. Corrigan makes a good contest, beats Nan Scow and recovers better. Flicks a hand pass out, misses the target, and held up by Boss. But then Corrigan says, Not happy with my work originally. I'll lay a good tackle and ensure the Boss can't get away from me. Attacking side of the win. 68 point lead. Up goes Steve Cummings from behind, wins it down, attacking it hard, getting a hand pass through traffic. On that occasion was Bailey. Misses the target. Here's a chance now for Husway. Gives a don't argue. Beats his opponent. In Jen kicks inside 50. Looking for Baker. Fisted away by McLean. How good is he? At the drop. Loose men everywhere. Good hand pass on the up again. Uh, to Casey, and the hand pass came out from Hogan, kicks to the oh, wing on the outside, player coming the other way for Rosebud, it was very untidy, and that has to be a free kick to Bomb Beach. Against Josh Fisher, that was very untidy and crude. In short to Casey, yeah, good to mm. towards the forward pocket, fisted away, and they try and clear out of the fence, Rosebud, handball Maynard, outside defensive 50, player shoved off the footy, young Tid, in the under 19s, he can't get hold of it, Brian Gibson in his second game today has been all at sea for Rosebud as well, they're a young side, remember, they're 21 pointers, as Nick Jewell said, and on Beach, she used almost all their points for a few recruits, such as ex-AFL players in Gilbert and Armitage. Cummings got up a bit high, said the umpire, Steve Cummings. And then he shoved out his opponent in the ruck, I think he did. And 50 metres, because I think... Because the player... Is there 50? Because I think yeah. a Rosebud player came through the mark yeah. and virtually tripped Hewlett. 
And this is going to be the fourth, if it is, fourth goal from a 50 metre penalty against Rosebud today. Uh, shot a goal, slight angle, 30 metres out. Just to add icing on the cake. And the goal is kicked. And they just add it to the carnage as far as Rosebud's concerned, Bob Leach. He's done his job today, Liam Hewlett. Yeah, Liam Hewlett, 19, 12, 1, 2, 6. Rosebud 8, 4, 52, 19 gone. In the last quarter, on the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop scoreboard. It's good to see him back playing footy as well, he was. <coughs> four and a four-hour love of the game, after his two years at Melbourne. Went to find Lisa and quite work, and now he's back playing. He played a lot of cricket too, and quite successfully. Hard work there, tapped down to 10. Kept the line to Marshall in the middle, steps around a good big tackle. Kicks inside 50. Tom Baker's here, crashes the pack hard. Feeds a hand pass out for Hardwick. Feeds a hand pass to Nance Cowan. He knows, knows how to kick a goal from 30 metres hits the post. That was a good exchange, a better exchange. Good hands inside 50 from the Buds. They've really been unable to do that most of the day. The margin 73 points. They try 53 to 1912, 126. On the Thirsty Camel Corner Bottle Shop with Rosebud Scoreboard. So back into play. Colleague on the left, he favours the broadcast side of the ground. Keegan down, he can't mark Sean's there at the drop. Gets the hand pass out, misses the target. Up coming to hand pass, misses the target. Intercepted by Liam Hewlett. Turns it over to Reed Nance Gowan. Reed Nance Gowan hits the ground running. Wobbly ball inside 50. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing goal! I don't think his brother Jay, who was in the goal square contesting with an opponent, touched it. He didn't. And that might be our goal of the day, the long-range goal from just inside 50 for Truman's golf range. Get down to Truman's for the Peninsula's best pizza, beer and golf experience. Truman's Road, Barney O'Gunsey, Guy and the team. Outstanding goal there by Jai Nance, by Reed Nance Cowan. Kicks his first, Jai's kick two. And 9559 Rosebud Bondley, 1912, 126 the margin, 67 points at the 21 minute mark of the final quarter on the Frankston Jeep time clock. Yeah, he's been superb and he just kicks in short again to McDonald. Yeah, the boss, he's been magnificent today too. Inside 50 once more. Chance for a shot at goal, hard on the boundary. <laughs> Running out of room, and he grabbed that footy and wasn't able to screw it around in Fisher, who's been superb today. He's done everything else right, that would have been an outstanding goal. It would have certainly been our goal of the day, between the golf range. The mark of the day has been a few good ones today too. Telstra Business Technology Centre of Melbourne South. The team at Telstra Business Technology Centre in Melbourne South is helping local businesses turn technology into opportunity. Kick to the outer side of the ground, no mark taken. At the fall, it comes out again to Bomb Beach's Armitage. The uh, fields have racked up numbers. There's our man Casey again, and he kicks out a target marking on the wing on the other side. High lobbing ball, inside 50. Can't take the Mark Fisher at the drop. Gil Renouf again runs away from oh. the pole. Oh. Great speed, kicks the goal of the day. Hard on the boundary, has kicked the goal of the day. Running out of room. He was virtually in the car park when he hooked out around the body. That's it. He hit the ball with speed from the contest and has hooked it around the body. Lockie Gil Renouf, what a goal that was. And that is definitely our goal of the day for Truman's golf range as they keep piling the disappointment on this Rosebud Footy Club. 2012 132, Rosebud 9 5 59, 23 gone in the last quarter, and Jackson Casey is cooked. As he comes off, he gets um, his bottle of water from Lachlan Stenny. He should be back next week. 
And he has a little bit of a chat to one of his teammates, Wayne Coates, who's been another star for Bond Beach today. Back in the middle of the ground, what a goal that was by Lockie Gilbernuth. Marshall's tried valiantly today from Glasgow, but turns it over. Good mark to Corrigan, who's been solid. Takes the mark, gets it down to... Uh, Mitch Gent, who turns his opponent inside out, but misses the target there of Verma. Too high for him. Taken at the back. Cleared comfortably on this occasion by Nance Cowan. Reed Nance Cowan kicks the half forward at the drop. Picked up now by Gibson, one of the smaller players out there for Rosebud. Bouncy ball. Keeping down his air. Great play by Douglas. He just get a hand on that and ensure that his team got away through Bennett. Bennett slips it out the back out of McLean. Ben McLean marking last line. Tom McLean normally on his side, not playing today. Ben McLean kicks down the middle of the ground and a good mark taken by David Armitage. Front end centre square. Fees a hand pass on the outside. This is magnificent to watch. And oh. not taking the footy as Kennedy. What a kick that is. It went 40 metres flat and just magnificently into the bread basket of Trent Dennis Lane and Rosebud are just betwixt and between here as Bond Beach put on a clinic in the closing stages of this game and this will be a real percentage shellacking for, and I'll drop a few percentage points today for Rosebud, 24 minutes gone in the final quarter, Dennis Lane for his fifth, 45 out to make it 29 for the season, he's kicked accurately all day, he doesn't miss those, he kicked the winning goal in the 2010 elimination final for the Swans, played 29 league games, knows where the goals are, and he has five as his team put on a clinic, he's put on a show. Just beautiful pass there, the fish and the fish the handball, the and up they went for the race and the there. TDL, he was 30 metres in front of the opponent there and he gave up. It's just a class. The class of Bond Beach today is very impressive, Dan. First time you've seen a class, it's been a couple of times, but she's there. We're looking for that. And sure are. Um, bounce in the middle. 21 12 1 3 8 to 9 5 59 79 point lead on the Thirsty Camel Corner bottle shop of Rose Bay. And it will be thrown up once again. Stop into the Thirsty Camel Corner bottle shop for some cold beer and Cooper specials. Bouncing in front of Matt Cumming and taken again by Bailey has been great. Kicks inside 50. No one can take the mark. Bouncing ball. At the back now is Oslin. Feeds that hand pass out. Taken again by Gilbert. Gilbert goes in short. Gets a half distance pass that uh, well is intercepted. Last line of defence by McRae. McRae with the footy, almost had it smothered. Kicks down the line for Rosebud. Their defence is there all the today. Getting back Fisher, I thought he nearly took that mark, backtracking into a pack. Quick hand pass comes out of the arm, he just bursts through like a big man. Can't take the mark, the umpire says it's throwing the ball in. And we'll go Rosebud's way. Taken by Stoffels. Remember their premiership team of 2015 with the Baker boys and Keegan Downey out there today. Kicks down the line, good mark. So we'll the aforementioned Tom Laker, the post to McLean, have had a good day. Margin of 79 points, nearly 26 gone, final quarter. Rosebud Country Club, our major sponsor today, 21 12 138 to 9 5 59, a 79 point win. And they had a lot of stars today, Bond Beach. Fisher kicked five, and so did Trent Dennis Lane kicking five. They shared it around, Liam Hewlett got a couple, and they had so many goal kickers. Their midfielders chipping in, like Shane McDonald, Gil Renu, probably the goal of the day for Truman's golf range. We'll get to that in a second. Bo Bailey kicked a couple as well. Jason Carter, one of the young players. Well, uh, Giant Anne's Cowan kicked two, and the rest were singles today, including a lovely goal in the run from Green Anne's Cowan in the final quarter. But look, there's a big difference, isn't there, in class. They're a young team, Rosebud. A lot of one point is Paul. Uh, Bond Beach have gone out and recruited and recruited well and the lead by, well, they won by 79 points and thoroughly deserve that victory. We'll go to our awards very shortly, but let's go around the grounds. Thanks to both citizens. Thank you very much, Steve.